Hey everyone, welcome to my little studio. Today I'm going to show some behind the scenes footage of how I run my little sticker business. So if you're interested in content like this, let me know. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Sarika and I make videos about journaling, art, and in this case, small business stuff. So kick back, relax, and let me show you some order packing. Ever since I opened my shop a couple months ago, I've gotten a pretty steady stream of orders and it tends to ebb and flow. So with the holidays, there have been a little bit more and there's a lot when I have a sale, of course, which makes sense. And then other days I'll get no orders at all. And on those days it looks completely different and I'll be either designing new products or working on videos, working on art, or just taking a break from doing shop stuff and focusing on life stuff instead, like organizing or holiday stuff. But this week tended to be a little bit shop heavy, so that is why I decided to record on Tuesday. I like to do the order packing in the morning, that way I can get them out to the post office when I'm doing errands or something like that, you know, if I go to the the gym like today. My gym schedule, which I'm trying to be consistent about, is going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. So on those days, I like to drop my orders off at the post office. I made these little thank you cards a few weeks ago. I just did a little collage and I write every customer's name on it. I really miss having that handwritten touch. I didn't have that for a while and so I reintroduced that recently. By the way, if you're curious about any of my materials that I'm using, such as the packaging or sticker making equipment or even the sticker paper, check the video description below. I'm going to try to be very, very thorough with my linking and it'll all be on my Amazon storefront as well. So definitely check that out. It took me about an hour and a half to pack up all the orders I had and then after that it was off to the gym. I did a few minutes of rowing which is like my comfort activity to do. It's very easy for me and if it wasn't for my husband I wouldn't even get out to the gym so shout out to him. I'm gonna go to the Taiwan countryside on the treadmill in honor of him. His family's from Taiwan and here I am giving him my orders to take into the post office. We got some free Wawa coffee and then some salad for lunch, and here's my dog Ziva. So after that little lunch break, which was a lot actually, a pretty long time, um, it was time to restock stickers, and I had run out of several favorites, such as these library ephemera ones. People are loving those. I love them too. I love the library itself. So I restocked about 24 sheets of each of those. All of my sticker making materials have changed. I will probably do a sticker cutting video that's up to date in a little bit. I got four more machines and it goes so much faster nowadays. It's like a game trying to get them all to run at the same time and work at 100% efficiency. But yeah, all my stickers have been restocked so nothing is sold out. And then the next day, I had a few more orders to pack. While I'm packing orders, making stickers, or doing anything that doesn't require a whole lot of brain power, I like to put on my favorite YouTubers in the background to keep me company. And I know a lot of you guys do that with my videos, so I really feel like we're all just keeping each other company here on YouTube. Um, at least if you create videos with your process or anything like that. I really appreciate it. Um, currently, I'm binging Caitlin Gray, who does a lot of Hobonichi videos. And right now, Evelyn on the internets is playing, or Evelyn from the internets, I'm sorry. And then I have Katie Steckley, who does a lot of content creation tips. But what I like about her is that she has a very calm demeanor and makes everything seem very achievable and doable. So it's not like stressful, like some of the other content creator gurus out there. <laughs> they make me feel really stressed out. 
but Katie Steckley has such a calm demeanor that um, it doesn't stress me out at all. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need to make my content creation more sustainable and like easier and make systems that work for me. So that's what I love about her videos. Besides YouTube, I also like to put on movies or my favorite shows, you know, podcasts and things like that, audiobooks even. The truth of the matter is this kind of job is a little bit isolating. I am still considering myself an extrovert. As I get into my 30s, I do find that I'm a little bit more introverted than when I was younger, but I used to work a lot of very sociable jobs, like very public facing, working with people. I had coworkers that had become very good friends. And so when I started doing this full time, it was kind of a shock to my system. Like I felt really isolated, but luckily I get to hang out with my husband at times. So we got to share lunch together. And then after that, I decided to get rid of my pink nails and gave myself a baby French manicure. And then the next day was Thursday. Here are my little tiny weights compared to my husband, so I did some strength training and then I hopped on the rowing machine again for about 15 minutes. After the gym, it was time to create these sampler sticker sheets. These are freebies that I put in every order. I had some old formatted ones that I wanted to use up and I just sent out the last ones so I decided to design some new ones that matched the format of my new sticker sheets and I produced about a hundred of each design so I have a floral one and then I have an ephemeral one and I think they turned out really cute so these will go out with every order. I'm just gonna pick a random one. I don't really have any rhyme or reason to it. I just like choose one to put in every order. And the sticker mats are pretty new. So they're very, very sticky. As you can see, the backing is starting to peel off. And that's why I decided to do the sampler sheets so that I don't mess up the backing on any actual sticker sheets that I'm selling. It's just freebie ones that might have a little of the backing peeled off. And after that, I decided to do a little bit of journaling before it was time to pick up the kids. So as you can see, it's sunset, uh, the lighting is super awesome, and after that, it's just like a mad rush to pick up the kids, make dinner, and all that. So this week was pretty short, it's a three day week. The next day, the kids have the day off because their winter break starts. And that's just the reality of where I'm at in my season of life. So time is very, very limited. I don't have much time to do journaling or business um, once the kids are home because they are only two and four years old. So as they grow older, they gradually becoming more independent and I am like slowly filling up that free time again with like my business and my art practice. For now, it is definitely maybe like 20 hours a week or so. Before, it was definitely a lot more, but I don't know when it's going to go up to like an actual full-time job again. I'm not sure, but for now, this is the kind of balance that I want. I like having the pacing and the flexibility of this. I'm very, very grateful for it. And I'm also grateful that you are coming along for the ride. So thanks so much for watching this little vlog and um, I'll see you for more videos in, in the coming year. Love you. Bye.